after showing you the video of this amazing game-changing trailer, we were invited to come back and actually get a special look on the inside. Now, before we go too much further, I'd like to remind everybody, this is a prototype trailer. Basically, what they're trying to do here is gauge interest in it and see what the features that are offering, what people want to add to and think. It's a very long time before this is going to go into production, but I can tell you already from the Class B where they're going with it and what I see in here, this is going to be an amazing trailer. And I love, take a look down here, first of all. They've given us an area here on the prototype to actually take a look at the drivetrain that actually powers this vehicle going down the road. And to clarify a few things that I, people may have misunderstood in the last video, this vehicle is designed to actually assist itself going down the road, which means it'll leave almost little to no drag whatsoever on the tow vehicle. So if you're driving with a gas vehicle, you can increase your gas mileage and even pull it with a smaller vehicle. If you're doing it with an electric vehicle, you will not lose that range and standard that you want to get from it. You get a, a tow vehicle that has a 250 or 300 mile range on it, but you put a load on it and it's more like 100 or 150. So the great thing with this is with the assist, it actually keeps it from killing your batteries, which I personally love. Another thing too is the batteries make it so you can live full time on this for a week. And you know what the wonderful thing is that I just found out is all of their calculations do not include the solar roof that's on the top. So the batteries with no power added to it at all will last you a week using the air conditioner and every appliance in here. And you can live as a nomad or a boondocker or however you like and recharge it in almost any way possible. Some of the other things that I really like about this is because this is not only going to be just to Airstream. In fact, Thor is offering this to all of their subsidiaries. So anybody who wants an option in the future to add this on, it is going to be a great option. So keep looking into this. This is the future of RVing in my opinion. One last thing I want to point out is for people that already have trailers, they may be pursuing an option and we want to gauge the interest on it to bolt on an actual undercarriage onto yours. You swap out and you can have something like this, maybe not quite as advanced, added onto it. If that's something you're interested in, put it in the comments below. Also, if you have any thoughts or ideas that they could add or change with this, add it to the comments below because Thor has actually been asking questions from everybody. They want to know what you think, what you think this can do, what it should be doing. If you see any improvements or different things that you want to add to it, Put it in the comments below and we will definitely convey that to them as best we can. Anyways, while we're here, I'm going to just go ahead and pop you in. There's also a full foot bath in there.